So in this question, we have what we call the radicals. I cannot add radicals that do not have the same thing inside the square. So what do I do? I'm going to go ahead and rewrite 147. How do I do this? Well, we need to go ahead and break down 147. Well, let's remember, 147 is not divisible by 2 because the last digit is not even. So I'm going to go ahead and try to divide it by 3. So let's see what we get. So we have 147. And let's see, which number when you multiply um, by 3 gives you close to 14? Well, the best number is 4. 4 times 3, that's 12. And then 14 minus 12 is equal to 2. I lower the 7, then I ask myself, what number when I multiply by 3 gives me 27? And you got it, 49. Awesome. That means that the square root of 147 is the same as the square root of 3 times square root, square root of 49. Well, remember, if you multiply 3 times 49, you're going to get 147. Now what happens? Well, I don't know the square root of 3. I actually just want to leave it like that. But do you know the square root of 49? Well, remember, 7 times 7. So I just do a square root of 49, that's equal to 7. And a square root of 3, I leave it the same. So then the way you write your number is the constant first and then the square root. So a square root of 147 is the same as 7 times the square root of 3. Awesome. Let's do 48. Well, now 48, I can divide it by 2 or I can, also, I can also divide it by 4. Or you know what, guys? I can also divide it by 3. Now, how do I know 48 is divisible by 3? Remember, if I add 4 plus 8, I get that's 12. Since 12 is a multiple of 3, bingo, 48 is divisible by 3. Then this is super easy because look, 16 times 3 is equal to 48. Now, what is the square root of 16? You know it, 4. The square root of 3, I just leave it like that. Finally, I can go ahead and say 7 square root of 3 minus 4 square root of 3 is equal to 3 square root of 3. I only do the operations from the ones outside. I do not touch the inside. Bingo, that is my answer. Radicals are a pain, but we need to know them.